Sam O'Nella Academy is a place where I like to find myself when I'm trying to get a little bit of education. Mm. When I want to learn me something. Yeah. When I want to find out about historical things or facts or figures that are just outright wild as shit. And I want to see some high quality illustration along with it. <laughs> Um, I think it's a good place to go for, for all of that. Um, I'm really not excited by the title of this. This one is about a philosopher who publicly defecated. I'm not. And that alone is enough for me to say, let's play this goddamn video and let's check this out because I'm ready. All right. Are you ready for this? No, Could I'm not. Could be a shit show. Let's go. Let's see. Public Hey kids, time for another hot steamy load of knowledge dripping down your neck and chest. Today, <laughs> we're going to talk about the greatest mind to ever live. Nope, not him. Nope, keep trying. Who I'm really referring to is the ancient Greek philosopher known as Diogenes of Sinope. Diogenes followed the school of thought known as cynicism. Far from the yelling at CNN, sitting oh. down during the pledge kind of cynicism we know today, cynic philosophy centers around the rejection of conventional desires in favor of a simple, moderate lifestyle. <laughs> But while many philosophers made a virtue out of self-discipline, Diogenes took all that to a whole new level. He was the most down-to-earth guy out there. Literally, he lived on the ground, in a big tub in the marketplace where he'd beg for a living. For a while, his only possession was a wooden bowl, until one day he saw a child drinking out of his hands, and he was like, what do I need this shit for? Now, though his way of life and wow. perspective was unique enough, it's the way Diogenes showed it that really set him apart from the rest. When someone today wants to go against society, they dye their hair blue and make a blog post about how there aren't any obese women of color in Super Smash Bros. On the other hand, when Diogenes has something to say, he just jerks off in public. Takes a dump in the amphitheater, pisses on passerby, whatever. The way he saw it, he was just performing much needed bodily functions while also protesting the superficiality of the civilization around it. <laughs> Keep in mind, though he was an unwashed, publicly defecating homeless man, that's not all he was. His wit was easily on par with his philosophical contemporaries and his okay, lack of inhibition. Oh everyone my knew. god. For example, here's an often pondered oh question god. of the day. How do you define a human in the simplest of Happy terms Friday. possible? Plato oh decided to tackle gosh. this question and he came up with featherless biped. And in the ancient Greek world, they didn't have any kangaroos or gibbons or nothing, so people were the only things around that both walked on two legs and didn't have feathers. Plato thought he was real clever with that one. Diogenes, on the other hand, he wasn't having any of it. So he said, all right, you pompous prick, I'll give you a featherless biped. So in reality, we do not learn. And what we call learning is only a process of recollection. <laughs> oh god damn it, not you again. What's up fuckers? Hey, check out this person I found. <laughs> Isn't it such a human? Oh, Look at him, wow. Fuck. What a guy. Oh. Anyway, love to stay in chat, but I saw some trash outside that looked delicious. Smell you later, deliberator. Yes, my student. <laughs> yeah, uh, what the fuck? Here's another anecdote. Macedonian King Alexander was a big fan of Diogenes, so he decided to pay him a visit. And he oh said, hey man, God. big fan. If there's any favor I can do for you, anything at all, just let me know, I'll make it happen. Now to put this into perspective, this is Alexander we're talking about. The guy who had his cousin straight up assassinated so he could take the throne. The guy who would later go on to conquer the majority of the civilized world. And you know what Diogenes says? He goes, yeah, you can do me a favor. Move over, you're in my light. Wow, I'm just, I'm not even mad. You really are just a legend. Diogenes lived up to the ripe old age of 89. I don't know if that's a testament to his lifestyle or if he just got lucky, but either way, wow. if there is a god, he definitely has a sense of humor. The exact cause of Diogenes' death varies depending on which source you look at. Some say he died from an infected dog bite. Others say it was from eating raw octopus. My favorite theory is that one day he just got tired of living. <laughs> and he just held his breath till he died. He left behind instructions on what to do with his body after he passed. Now, when people think of special post-mortem instructions like these, they usually think, Scatter my ashes at 6.53 a.m. off the western face of Mount Rainier using my grandfather's favorite ladle. None of that with Diogenes. He kept it simple. In the words of Danny DeVito, When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. Specifically, <laughs> he wanted his body tossed into the wild so animals could feast on him, thereby giving back to the earth what little he took from it. So so kids, moral of the story, don't judge a book by its cover. The man who appears to be nothing more than a shit-smeared babbling vagrant could actually yeah, be the wisest man you'll that. ever meet. Or he could really just be a raving fucking lunatic. Bring a knife, just in case. Anyway, <laughs> till next time, oh, I'm damn. Sam Manella, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Off the fucking places. rails? Yeah. But, Off the rails. But what, what's his name? Diogenes. Diogenes.
seemed to really just be kind of punk rock. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't go pooping and pissing on people. But that bit about Alexander the Great is pretty bad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was definitely a rock star move. I mean, he seems like somebody I really want and want to fucking be around. Hell no. But I like I like the process that he thinks. Like I like yeah, his yeah. process. The reasoning behind his actions. Right? Like he just lives in a fucking tub and he doesn't take from any. He just he's just he existing. Is. And then when he died, just chuck me back there. Like beautiful, same. But yeah. you can't do that, really. <laughs> I would chill with him, not going to lie. Mm-hmm. I, I was waiting for someone to say he's based. Yeah. I was waiting for someone in the comments of to course. say that. Um, but yeah, I feel like I learned something today. I did not know about that guy at all. I didn't either. Never heard of him. I didn't either. Yeah. Well, you don't really learn about people like that in school. Yeah, they won't be like, see, kids, some guys that are smart just like go around shitting. Yeah, I'll be you shitting. Know? Yeah, they be shitting. So... <laughs> Yeah, today, Sam O'Neill has taught us of these things, and I really appreciate him for that. Yeah. And I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us as well, and uh, (laughs) hopefully next time we put out a video, you'll be there to see it, and we'll get to hang out again. Thank you guys for chilling with us this time, and we will see See you you in the next one, hopefully.